Welcome back to Pikmin 2. On the last episode, we returned to the Valley of Repose. We got some above ground treasures and we also destroyed the Frontier Cavern. Got a nice movement speed upgrade. On this episode, we're going to be going back to the Perplexing Pool, an area we have not spent much time in. Uh, and hopefully, we will be able to get some treasure. Uh, just going to be the same as pretty much everything. We're going to start with above ground treasures and then move on to a dungeon. I do know what dungeon I want to do. It's not the one that, uh, you know, it's not that one. Okay, we all know it. If you don't know it, don't worry about it. I only have 50 blues. I thought I grew a lot. You know what? You know what happened in the last session? A lot of blue Pikmin ended up dying. Just a lot of like a, a lot of water dumples got involved. It was it was kind of rough. Not a lot of nectar here either. Okay, Wally Wog, you shouldn't be a problem. What I want to do. Okay, never mind. I was gonna break down that wall, but let's do something else first. Um, let's take. You know what? Let's be efficient about this. Let's take Louis. We want to get. Let's just get all the yellows because we need a lot of yellows for something we're about to do. Uh, so let's get all of them to work on something real quick. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. And I can't believe it. I can't believe this is the second time these guys have absolutely beamed me. It's actually it's embarrassing. And I was they weren't even transporting anything. Okay, well suddenly I'm not so having so good of a Saturday, even though it's a Wednesday. We don't tell anyone that. Um, but that's fine. We're just gonna leave those guys up here. It's the second time those sheer wigs have just clowned me and made me look like an absolute fool. It's been a while, okay? It's been a while since we were last here. I, I have an excuse. Please go away. There's an electric gate there, which we need. Uh, it's a bit complicated to get to, but we'll figure it out. I'm not realizing that uh, should have gone around the other way. All right, well. That's fine. We'll just throw everyone up here, and then we'll not forget the one Pikmin that we leave here at the end of the day. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. The weekend is, uh, you know, a nice time to be here. I guess. I don't know. It's, it's a Wednesday for me, man. I gotta make some inferences somehow. All right, let's get all you guys. Dodge that uh, man. And we want to break down this. Oh, there's a Wally Wog nearby. He doesn't... He wouldn't... You're not gonna... No, no he's fine. Especially if we get them on this. Because there's a dungeon in there. Alright. Get Louis on that. Get Olimar to not lead the blue Pikmin directly into enemies. Uh, we want to fight this guy. This guy is a treasure. This guy is a toady bloister, I think he's called. You're never going to bleed this, but that giant bulb on his back is his weakness. So you really just want to get it behind him and just throw directly onto his back. Well, not his back, but his back uh, receptacle. I don't know what this thing is, man. It's a weird little thing. Uh, anyways, he likes to eat Pikmin from the front, so you basically just have to not attack him from the front and you'll be good. Uh, he's not even attacking at all right now, so that's nice. He's just dead. Um, I'm definitely going to take those ten pellets, thank you very much. He dropped a little, a little boy. That's not a boo, that's a, that's a lure. Lure. Yeah, you guys can take all that back, that's fine. Uh, in the meantime, build this bridge. There's an electric gate on the other side of this bridge, which I can show off when I'm done throwing. Uh, so we do need to bring yellows over here. Uh, it's just that, you know, we need to get the bridge built eventually anyways, so might as well do this. Louie has that wall coming, buddy. Oh, it's actually coming along really well. That one guy's not doing anything, but he's just there for moral support. No. Yes, they got one. I can't believe it's the third time. Actually, the third time this has happened. It's fine, because we're getting ten pellets, okay? It's fine, because we're getting ten pellets. I don't need to care. I'm just going to punch these guys to death when they land. It's fine. I don't know why I have such horrible memory for these guys specifically, but... You know, we're working through it. No, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, how did he eat one? He's dying. I'm punching him into oblivion. Okay, whatever, dude. It's fine. We got ten pellets back. Okay, these guys shouldn't be a problem. I'm really embarrassed about that, but it is what it is. Anyways, let's take our yellows here and investigate this dungeon. Just want to get a good read on what kind of elements we have so that Olimar can bring more men towards it. Interesting, my odor detectors are reacting. A strong scent wafts from that hole. Gross. I am a machine, but ra so rating sense is beyond me, but your faces tell me all I need to know. You are both drooling. I wish just once I could feel what it's like to drool. Gross. Alright, this area is the Glutton's Kitchen, I believe? Yes, and it is only electricity. Okay, so I think we're just going to keep all our yellows here. And uh, when these blues get born, we will pluck them out of the ground. And then uh, deposit them all so we can get some purples, whites, reds maybe for combat. It's 80 Pocos. The Aquatic Mine. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to finish the debt in this in-game day. I'm not sure how many... I'm not sure what the value of the treasures are in the Glutton's Kitchen, but I don't think it's 1,500. So, probably tomorrow in the in-game day is when we'll be doing uh, some some real debt paying off. But I'll try and get the... Uh, excuse me. I'm going to try and get that, that pickle lid today. 
it's been kind of sitting for a while. We saw it earlier. Okay, just make sure these are all nice and born. There we go. Pause it. All you guys. Just gonna take out some reds, just because variety, I guess. We have 40 yellows. We can probably take out, like, the yeah, 20 if everything should be good. Not that I think we'll need 20 purples, but purples are actually quite good in this dungeon. Uh, I mean, they're good in every dungeon, but in this dungeon specifically, there's quite a bit of uh, purple action going on. Take out 20 of you. Just kidding, 8. Why am I dumb? Did I count wrong? Why did I count wrong? Whatever, we're putting, we're putting some whites back in that case. We're just not going to lose white. So if there's buried treasure, we're going to be fine, okay? There we go. Yeah, you really want purples for this, for something you'll see later. Uh, but, you know, the Glutton's Kitchen... Uh, we did these kind of, we did these dungeons in kind of a weird order, because the Glutton's Kitchen is one of the easier dungeons in the game. Uh, I mean, it only requires an electrical gate to break down, and has one element in it, so you can probably guess that, but not today. No. No. I refuse. Let him go! Okay, we're coming. Oh, sorry, I was really... I don't want these guys eating another Pikmin for the rest of this playthrough. Uh, we got some sprays going on. There's also a... I just forgot that guy's name. Swooping Snitchbug. There's a Swooping Snitchbug there. We're gonna try and dodge him. Uh, there's the funny area. You'll, you'll know what I mean later. He's rubbing his hands together like a little fly, but we're gonna dodge right past him. Uh, is there any way to... Yeah, there is. Hang on. You guys go over there. Make sure not to leave this yellow behind. Come with us. What? Oh, they, they carried a corpse back. I thought I got all of them, but no, apparently not. Uh, you know what, Yellow? You just stay with all the more. You're not going to go in the dungeon, but maybe it'll get transported to the start of base. Uh, 82. Why are we missing so many? Why are we missing so many? Oh, they're on the bridge. Oh, those are just blues, though. They're fine. Okay, that's why I counted wrong. Because there was like 18 on the bridge. Uh, that's fine. Well, without further ado, those blues are not in any danger, I hope. Uh, so we will descend into the Glutton's Kitchen with 82 Pikmin. Should be fine, though. I'm not that worried. The level one. Yeah, this dungeon is like really, really easy. It's also a dungeon I remember quite well just because it's uh has a fun aesthetic. It's like a child's toy era. It's body ball bears, or dwarf's body ball bears rather, detected, so Oh, that's a lot of them. I do not have the you know what, here's what we're gonna do. I don't have the wherewithal to take the purples and just deal with this, so I'm gonna take uh everyone but the yellows. Because yellows get thrown higher, which means they take longer to hit the ground, which means they're kind of awkward for combat. So we're just gonna try and throw these guys on the backs. He ate, he did not swallow. This ate, I am a Twitter user. Oh boy, purples. I could just like farm enemy corpses to ensure we get the debt done today, but again, I don't really... That's not super important, I, I don't feel at least. I'm just kind of wildly throwing men as you can see, but it's fun. Yeah, I don't know. It, 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 I'm just gonna say it right now, when you finish the debt in this game, that is not the end of the game. Uh, as you might have guessed, because this guy's in an awkward spot. There's a little crayon there. I think I want to lure this guy... Oh, but how do I do that? I think we just start getting the purples involved, honestly. Uh, but yeah, the game doesn't end when you clear the debt, because otherwise a 100% treasure playthrough would be impossible. Come on. Go, go eat. Get him. Yeah, he's doing fine. Good job. Alright, so you stick this guy towards the crayon. Looks like that's the only treasure on the floor. Uh, unless there's something buried, but I guess we'll find it when that gets back. Might, you know what, might as well take the corpses back if you got nothing to do. Uh, so yeah, the du I, I keep getting interrupted by thinking things are happening when they're not. So yeah, uh, deck being clear doesn't really matter when we do that. Uh, we'll get around to it eventually if we don't do it now. It's just that uh, I really want Monday's video, the Halloween special, to be a certain something, which I mentioned uh, some time ago. And uh, I really, I think it's going to work out. I think I can get the time working so that Monday will be the funny clickbait dungeon. Look at that, it's peach pink. Mario paints the master's instrument, and yeah, only thing on the floor. Look at that, we're getting pennies of the spotty ball bears, dwarf spotty ball bears. So let's just delve deeper into the next floor where there's hopefully more than one treasure. Dub level two. Every I I hate doing that. I hate just reading what's on screen, but it's so hard to like just come in swinging with a thought, you know? Oh boy, uh, this is. Oh, it's bread bugs! Yeah, I mean, I knew they were in the dungeon, I just didn't know they were in this sub-level. Yeah, bread bugs make a return in this game, and they are much, much, uh, more common. There was exactly one in the first game, which made it kind of like a, almost like a mini-boss. Uh, there's a lot more in this game. No. Just actually destroyed. 
Uh, red bugs work the same in this game. They try and carry things back to the little nest. And, uh, if they, like, if Pikmin are carrying something and they carry something into the nest, all those Pikmin will die. So you need to put more on it and drag them back to the ship. It's the imperative cookie. As you can see, this guy is trying to steal a bottle cap treasure. We will definitely stop him from doing that. There you go. So now he's going to get dragged back to the ship, where actually we should monitor that in case there are more sheer wigs in the area. Yeah, that's his little nest over there. Oh no, he ate a white. Just kidding. You thought. Don't do it. Okay, it's fine. Um, what am I saying? Yeah, that's his little nest right there. If he carries something back, all the Pikmin on it will die. So you need to monitor when you're carrying treasures. Uh, very, very important. That guy shouldn't be a problem. I feel like these are the only two treasures on the floor. Maybe I'm insane for thinking that, but I guess we're about to find out. And as you can see, he has a really funny hit noise. It's Yuhu Cola. Uh, and he takes a lot of damage if you manage to drag him back to the ship like that. Massive lid. Oh, let's just go. I'm tired of having enemies hunt me down. We got all the treasures and the florals to send further into the glutton's kitchen with very, very good pace. I'm not reading out the sub-level. It's not gonna happen, man. I'm sorry. I think this dungeon's only like five or six floors, so it should be pretty nice. I uh, hear electricity, so this looks like a job for our many yellows. And in case you didn't bring any yellows, there's a nice flower over there. That's a, that was a puffy blowhog. I haven't seen those guys in a while. But we recently got the shoe upgrade that makes it so that we don't get bowled over by them, so that's nice. Also convenient that there's a puffy blowhog on the same uh, floor as the, all those eggs for nectar in them. I'm just We don't need to fight these guys, let's just get the treasure. Uh, we're not immune to electricity ourselves, so if they want to still dodge that, we can get knocked over by it. I don't know what that is. I have no concept of what that is, so I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, let's see. Red bug on this floor, apparently. There he is. I wonder if he's holding a treasure himself. This area is cool. It was a little little slope here. Uh, you can throw a Pikmin on the red bug like that. It actually does a lot more damage in this game than in the first. Uh, purples are... This is why purples are really good for the dungeon, because they just, like, destroy red bugs. Um, get this thing. What is that? Is that a... That's not a clock, right? It's like a compass? Welcome to things that I don't know what they are. Is it like a broken yo-yo? It's a harmonic synthesizer. Some kind of musical instrument, perhaps. I'm not a very musical person, never learned an instrument, never had the desire to. Uh, I am extremely, extremely tone deaf. Please just carry that off. No. Oh wait, you can't damage this guy with the captain? Get away from me. Is there anything over here? Oh, well, looks like those are the only two treasures on the floor. Looks like this bread bug is going to try and investigate uh, the treasure, maybe? He's fine. Uh, the fluffy, the, the fluffy, the puffy blowhog will likely try and fight that guy, but, you know, it's not like he does damage, so we don't need to concern ourselves with him right now. Oh, I thought this floor was going to be fun and easy. What the heck, guys? You can't just drop anno beetles on me out of the dang sky. Oh, I'm just trying to get my guys nectared. That was an actual, like, horror show. Okay, it's fine. I mean, we got them out of there, but jeez. Glad I didn't leave them idle to just destroy all my pick. Okay, you know what? I can I can see how this guy is kind of becoming an issue. Uh, giving it issues. I mean, he's not an issue. He's only one. We're just gonna please cease your blowing at once. And just get on the floor, walk the dinosaur, and die, please. Maybe you can carry us a little farther back to the ship. Thankfully, if these guys get turned into leaves, we just have some nectar right away. Uh, yeah, puffy blowhog, not very. Still not sure what the difference is between this and the Withered Blowhog. I think this one just has more health and is bigger. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's not a compass. The Director of Destiny. No clue. Alright, we got him. Uh, and yes, there are little ramps so you can get your Pikmin back to base. I I saw I had 82 Pikmin and I got scared because I was like, how many died to electricity? But then I realized that we only, we only brought 82. Alright, let's get these guys nice and nectared up. Uh, you don't need to fight that guy anymore. Yeah, no one just drink all of that. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. And uh, let's just... Where's the hole? Found it. Alright, guess who's uh, not coming with me? It's you guys. I'm just gonna run there myself with my very quick movement speed upgrade. Dodge this electricity. Skirt, skirt, skirt. And we will descend into sub-level 4 of the Glutton's Kitchen. Very, very good pace so far. Probably because this dungeon is not very hard. But just slamming out treasures left and right. Good to see. Down in the dungeons, we go deeper. In set reviews, I was a sleeper. As minions die, I get cheaper. You guessed it right. I'm Corridor Creeper. 
Oh, that was a reference no one's gonna understand. I hear... Yeah, I heard something walking. I thought it might have been a big bull bear, but now it's just a... Uh, just a bread bug. Bread bugs are friends. We like bread bugs. Oh, he... he chomped on that guy for a while. I'd be surprised if he was okay. He's fine. Good, good for you, buddy. Uh, Red Bug doesn't have a treasure, but he's definitely sniffing for some. Let's try and get it before he does. Oh, that is a big bulb warrior. I didn't think they'd be in this dungeon, because this dungeon was allegedly easy. He's, he's, you know what, Red Bug? He can carry that corpse back. That's fine. Yeah. That's kind of upsetting, but, you know, such is nature. Ooh. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, purples, is they're still so slow in your party, so even if you have them, like, selected. Oh, hey, it's the first time we're seeing that mechanic. He ate a white Pikmin. Intriguing, the creature showed symptoms of poisoning after consuming the white pipkin. Perhaps white pipkin excrete a poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. Also gross. And like sad, we just lost a pipkin. Uh, but whatever. White pipkin, yeah, when, 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 if an enemy eats a you know, eats a white pipkin, uh, they will indeed take poison damage. It's not like an instant kill, but they do quite a bit of damage. And you saw the ball bear's health was starting to respawn there. Squirt, nice brand name. The happiness emblem. Yeah, the bull bear, he got a bit of his health back. Definitely don't want that to go to full. Uh, so we lost a Pikmin or two, which is tragic, but... such a, I mean, it, losing one Pikmin to a spotty bull bear is like... That's totally fine, man. Those guys are monsters if you let them just go buck wild on your squad. Uh, seems like we have... a cup. Is that cup a treasure? Oh, it is. Cool. Uh, seems like we've eliminated most of the threats this floor. Okay, no, don't. You, you can have the corpse, man. That's fine. I'm not gonna fight you on that one. Uh, yeah, I think all threats have been eliminated, unless something drops out of the sky, which... We all know that can happen now. I think a fly just flew into me. Gross. There, there's been, like, one fruit fly in my room for just, like, a month. And I don't know when he's gonna go away, but I'm just hoping that, like, when the temperatures get colder, he leaves, because that's, like, the one good part about colder temperatures is no insects. Not that I don't necessarily mind insects, I just kind of wish they didn't exist in my uh, personal home. That'd be nice. There we go. Yeah, there's no way that's not the last treasure. The only danger is, like, a red bug goes ham on something and just, like, speeds back to his hole, but I don't think that's gonna happen. White goodness. It's a nice-looking, nice-looking tree, I gotta say. I don't need you guys to carry that back. Just get the mug and you're fine. Yeah, ice cream is, like... I like ice cream. I know that wasn't, like, ice cream, but I, uh... I am a nice ice cream enjoyer. There's this weird thing with ice cream where, like, and I don't know it doesn't make sense, but if you, like, stir it, uh, it tastes better for some reason. Even though it doesn't make sense because you're not actually changing anything. It's the invigorator. I don't drink coffee. Uh, but, yeah, if you stir ice cream in the receptacle you have it in, for some reason I just find that it tastes significantly better. And, uh, oh yeah, that's cool. 